Last time we started decorating our Christmas tree, so let's continue with that by making some lights for the tree. Much like last time, we will first create a mesh and convert it to a node group. We will then instantiate that node group on the tree. So, select the nodes we created last time and group them with Ctrl G, and rename the new group to Tree Balls. Disconnect the nodes for now so it's easier to see what we are doing. Add a UV sphere and set the segments to 16 and the rings to 8. Add a transform node and adjust the C value of the scale. Then move the mesh upwards by adjusting the C value of the translation. Next, add a join geometry node, a cylinder node, and a transform node. And connect them like this. Adjust the scale and position until you have something that looks like this. Finally, add a set shade smooth node. Then select the nodes and press Ctrl G to create a new group and rename it to Tree Light. Just like we did before, we will distribute some points on the tree and use them to instantiate lights on them. Add a Realize Instances node, a Distribute Points on Faces node, and an Instance on Points node. Then connect them like this like we did with the balls. Connect the tree light node group to the instance socket of the instance on points node. And set the scale to something like 0.02. Again, create a mask using the normals of the distribute points on faces node by using a separate XYZ node and the compare floats node. Change from random to Poisson disk and adjust the values until you get the distribution that you are happy with. Select the nodes and make a node group with Ctrl G and rename it to Tree Lights. Now would be a good time to start making some materials for the meshes that we have created so far. Go to the Materials tab and create four new materials and name them Tree. Ball, Light, and Metal. Before we adjust the material settings, let's add them to the meshes. Add a set material node and connect it between a tree base group and the join geometry node. In the drop down, select the tree material. Next, open the tree lights group and then open the tree light group. Here we will add two set material nodes, one for each part of the object. Select the metal material for the cylinder and the light material for the UV sphere. Then move back to the root of the geometry node tree and open the tree balls group. Then open the tree ball group. Again, we will use two set material nodes. Use the metal material for the cylinder and ball material for the UV sphere. Switch over to material preview mode, and with the tree material selected, set the base color to a dark green, and set the roughness to 1. Next, select the metal material and change the base color to a gray color. Set the metallic value to 1, and set the roughness to 0.3. For the ball and light materials, we need to head over to the shading workspace. Select the ball material. Add an object info node and the color ramp. Connect the random socket of the object info node to the factor of the color ramp. Then connect the color ramp to the base color of the principal BSDF. Change the color ramp RGB to HSV and change from near to clockwise. Select the first color selector and change the color to red. Then select the second color selector and change the color to blue. Now each ball will have its own color. 
Lastly, set the roughness to 0.2. Next, select the light material and repeat the process with an object info node and a color ramp. But this time, connect the color ramp to the base color and the mission, then set the mission strength to 5. To make it pop a little more, go to the Render Settings tab and enable Ambient Occlusion, Bloom, and Screen Space Reflections. Now it's starting to look like something. Next time we will finish up the tree by creating a star to put at the top of it. See you then!